So for our horse blanket, I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky in Soft Taupe, and I'm using a 9mm crochet hook. The horse blanket is worked in corner to corner crochet, so it works up fairly quick and gives us a really nice textured, pretty stitch. So to begin working our corner to corner blanket, we'll first want to start out with a slip knot and put that on the hook and chain six. In the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, we'll work a double crochet. A double crochet in the next chain, and a double crochet in the next chain. And we've made our first block, and then we'll chain six. Every time we're increasing, we're going to be chaining six. So now in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, we'll work a double crochet. Yarn over. Work a double crochet and in the last chain, a double crochet. Now we'll flip our block up like this. So just twist it up, and in that starting turning chain, we're gonna slip stitch. Then we're gonna chain three, and that's first double crochet here, and then we'll work three doubles. One, two, three. So that's row two. So if we look at it from the corner, here's our first block. Here's our next two blocks for row two. So if we kind of look at it like this, one block, the next row is two blocks, and then we'll have three, four, and so on. So every time now we're increasing, we're chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll work in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Flip up, slip stitch in that turning chain. Chain three, chain three, work three doubles, one, two, three, slip stitch into the chain three, chain three, and three doubles. So we're always doing a chain three and three doubles. So as you can see, we're gonna get a nice square. We look at it this way, row one, row two, row three, and we're just doing the same thing. We're just gonna continue increasing this as large as we want the blanket to be. So let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Double crochet in the fourth chain, one, two, three, four. And in the next, and in the next. So we've made three doubles. We flip our work, slip stitch in the chain three and chain three.
work our three double crochets one two three slip stitch chain three and work three doubles up in the top here is our final one we're going to slip stitch and chain three and work three doubles And there we go. Okay, so I want to show you without going any further and making the whole size blanket, I just want to show you what you can do if we don't have a complete square. If the blanket was a complete square, it would be really easy. We would just start decreasing each side as we go. But sometimes a blanket is more a rectangular shape. So for instance, with our horse blanket, it's going to be wider than it is tall. So we're gonna have 25 blocks in height and 30 blocks in width. So let's imagine that we've reached here our 25. So this would be 25 and 25. So what we're gonna to do to decrease is we're gonna chain three. I'm gonna turn our work and we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space. Then we're going to chain three. And we're going to work three doubles. Okay, so now what we've done is we've made our corner. And now we'll slip stitch into the chain three. We'll chain three and work three doubles. So now we're working all the way down. So we're going across the same as we did before. So I'm gonna finish that off and then I'll show you what you do when you get down here. So I've slip stitched and I'm increasing it still down here. So we're increasing it another block. So here we have one, two, three, four. Here we have one, two, three, four, five. If we hadn't wanted to increase that, we could have just slip stitched and then chain three and come back over and that would continue to decrease. But we wanna still increase this. So if you're still increasing the one side, we're then chaining six. Cause always remember a chain six increases, two, three, four, five, six. And in the fourth chain, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we flip up. Chain three. And three doubles. Okay, so now if we look at how this is looking, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we only have four. So if you wanted this as your rectangle, you would stop increasing now at this point. And I'll show you, I'll work across and then I'll just show you again how to not increase up when we get here. So I've worked this block and now what we're gonna do is just slip stitch to the chain three, and then we're chaining three turning and slip stitching it into the chain three. So that just gets us over into position to work this next block that goes this way. And you can see we have our edge making our rectangle piece. And at this point, we could start decreasing this side and just having our blocks come in until we're down to one again. So it's a really simple pattern and it will work up really quick. Okay, so I've worked away on 
the large size horse blanket. For this blanket, I've used two strands of worsted white yarn and still my nine millimeter hook. And I wanted to show you how to finish off with the edging around the blanket. So I'm just completing my final block that pack and you can follow along with your pattern for the size that you're working on whether it's the child or the adult size so to finish we're then slip stitching and so here's our corner we're slip stitching over here now what we want to do is chain one. So now what we want to do between each of our blocks or tiles, we're wanting to make a single crochet. So I'm going to go into that first one and make a single crochet. Then I'm going to chain two. And then in between the next two blocks, I'll work another single crochet. I'll chain two between the next two. I'll do a single crochet and then a chain two. Then between the next, and we just continue, you have to be careful you don't lose a stitch like that when you're working with two strands. So this is how we'll, we're gonna work that edging all the way around the blanket. Now, when we get to the corner, I'll meet you back up again to show you how you're gonna work the corners of the blanket. And this is just a beautiful blanket, even without the hood. I really love how the white blanket has turned out using the two strands and it's a nice and big, nice big cozy blanket if you wanted to just do a blanket and not the hood, it would still look great. Okay, so I've worked to the corner. So I'm in, I've worked my single crochet here. I'm gonna chain two. And now in the corner, I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. And then chain two, and then we're going to go between the tiles. Okay, so then we've made our corner. And that's what you'll do whenever you get to a corner. You're going to do single crochet, chain two, single crochet, single crochet, and it'll make a nice edge. So I'm just going to continue working around the blanket and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so once you get all the way around, we're just, I finished my corner, chain two, and then I'm just going to slip stitch in that first single crochet to join. And at this point now, you can fasten off. There will be another round of edging made, but it will, we'll do it after we attach the hood. So next I'm gonna show you how to work up the adult size. Okay, so here's the base, the base hood we're gonna be making. Here's my child size horse, he's so cute. And what we're gonna start out now is doing the base of the hood before we get into doing all the pieces. So because I'm working with white yarn, I'm gonna use my child here as a base so that you can see the yarn a little bit better. I'm just gonna lay that down. So for the adult, I've been using two strands of worsted. So if you're using the bulky, you just need one strand now I ran out of white yarn. For the adult, I've used eight balls of white for the blanket. So I'm using, grabbing two more, even though I probably only need one to complete the hood. It's just easier to work from two balls. So I'm working from the two balls. Now it says with Red Heart Super Saver that they don't have dye lots, but it actually looks a little bit different color. So my hood could be a little bit off from the body, but because of the hair, I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. So 
So to begin, we're going to make a slip knot. Put that on the hook. And I'm going to chain 11. Now we're going to work single crochets across the chain. So in the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet and work single crochets along the chain. Okay, so I'm coming to my last chain. I'm going to add two single crochet in that chain. So now this is always what I find is the most confusing part for people. We're going to work on the opposite side of the chain now. So we've worked up this side and now we're working down this side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stitches because we've added two on the end. We want the exact same on the other side. So in that first chain, which is basically the same chain we just worked into, we're adding two again. So there's two and I like to count down the chain as I go and I also like to work over my tail. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So 11 and 11 now should be 22 stitches. Okay, and we're gonna chain one and turn. Okay, so we're actually, even though it's like we're going in the round, we're actually working in rows. We don't join anything down here at the bottom. So now we're gonna be working extended single crochets and it's gonna give us more of the length of stitch that I'm looking for. So what we're gonna do now is chain one. This is not included as a stitch. We're working into the very first stitch and we're gonna work an extended single crochet. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how you make your extended single crochet. So we're gonna do that now again in the next eight stitches so we have a total of nine Okay, and now in each of the next four stitches, we're gonna work two extended single crochet. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna be now increasing this section. So two extended single crochet in the first, two in the next. So you're going right back down into the same stitch two in the next, and then two in the next. And then you should have nine stitches remaining. We're just gonna work extended single crochets in each stitch across. Okay, so we increased four stitches up here. So now you should have 26 stitches and we're gonna chain one and turn. 
Okay, so for row three, we work one extended in the first, extend single crochet, and then one in each of the next nine. So in total, you will be working 10 before an increase. So go ahead and work up 10 extended single crochet, and then I'll meet you up again. Okay, so now in the next six stitches, we're gonna do increases. So we're increasing up six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Those six stitches, we're gonna add two in each. Two extended single crochet into each stitch. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so I've worked my increases and then we're just finishing with extended single crochets along the rest, which is 10, a total of 10. So we'll have increased up to 32 stitches for row three. So I'm just gonna complete that off camera. So this is how things are looking. Okay, this is the back of the hood and we're just gonna keep getting bigger here. So now for row four, we're just gonna work one extended single crochet in every stitch. So no increases this time. You're just gonna work around so you have a total of 32 for the adult size hood. Okay, so now for row five, we're gonna do more increases. So I'm gonna work 12 stitches and then I'm gonna increase eight. So eight of the stitches up along the curve, we're gonna increase and then another 12 on this side. So we're increasing to thir from 32 to 40. So we'll chain one and turn. So one extended single crochet in the first stitch and then in the next 11, so 12 in total. Okay, so I've worked that. Now we're going to work two in each of the next eight. So two extended single crochet into the next eight stitches. So I've worked all my increases. You should have 12 stitches remaining and I'm gonna just work extended single crochets across those stitches. And this row completes our increases. So we're done increasing. So I'm just gonna complete that off camera. Okay, so the increases are finished. This is what it's looking like. I know this can be confusing for some as to how this is gonna look like a hood, how it's gonna turn into a hood. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna keep working in rows. And because we're no longer increasing, it's not gonna stay flat. So it's eventually gonna curve and turn in to this hood shape like this. So what I like to do is just mark You really need to, it can be sometimes hard for people to keep track of their rows, I have found. So I like to just mark here. So I am at, this is the end of row five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've done five and now I'm gonna work rows six, or six through 18. So each row now will be worked with 40 stitches, no increases, we're just working back and forth in rows. And I'm just gonna complete that off camera. I just wanted to give you like a progress shot here. So I've worked up 12 rows currently. So this is what it's looking. And once I do another six, it's gonna have it curving right down where we want it to be. So I just wanted to show you how it's looking partway through. So here was five rows and now I've worked up to 12 and this is what it's looking like. 
So now I'm gonna finish working up to a total of 18 rows. So I finished my 18 rows and you can see how it's looking now. And now because we've worked in rows, either side is fine. I like to just, whatever uh, row I'm ending on, I like to make it my right side because it's just a nicer edge when we're working across it for finishing the blanket. But really it doesn't matter if you use this side or this side as your right side because they both look the same working in rows. So now what you want to do is leave a long tail because we're going to use the tail to sew it to the blanket. So just make sure you leave it nice and long. You don't want to run out. This end here, you can weave it in. And so this is how your hood is looking. Okay, so next I'm gonna focus on getting the pieces of the hood made. So you can coordinate really sort of whatever colors you want. I'm gonna go with clay to coordinate with the white. On my other horse here, I use the dark taupe, which is the dark brown and cream for the star. So to make the ears, we're gonna work with whatever your main color and then we'll do our contrasting color for the inner ear. So I'll start out doing the backing, which is gonna be with the main color. I'm using the nine millimeter hook. Make a slip knot, put that on the hook. Then I'll chain three. I'll work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one, two, and in the next chain. So I have two stitches made. As you can see, that's sort of the point there. And then here's our two stitches. Row two, chain one, work two single crochet in the first, and work two single crochet in the next. So now I have four stitches. Row three will chain one in turn and work one single crochet in each stitch across. So I still have a total of four stitches. Row four, chain one and turn, work two single crochet in the first stitch, one in each of the next two, and then two in the final. So now we have a total of six stitches. Row five, chain one and turn, work one single crochet in each stitch across. Now for row six, we'll chain one and turn. We'll work two single crochet in the first, one single crochet in each of the next four. and then two single crochet in the last stitch. So now we're up to eight stitches in total. Chain one and turn. And row seven, we'll just work one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of eight. Okay, so now for row eight, we're gonna reduce stitches. I'm gonna chain one and turn, and we're gonna do a single crochet to tog over the next two. So go through, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Work across to the last two stitches. 
And then across the last two, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a single crochet two tog, go through the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So now we've reduced to six stitches. Chain one, work one single crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so now we're gonna start to work around finishing the edge. So we'll add another single crochet in the final stitch. And then we'll work a single crochet up across. So one. And then we're gonna work three single crochet in the tip. So one, two, three, and then work back down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth. And then we slip stitch in that first to join. Okay, so we have the same number of stitches on each side. And then you can fasten that off. And we're gonna leave a long tail because we're gonna use that to sew. Now I have gone over this tail. You can weave that back in the opposite direction. So I just wanna make sure I get this out of my way. And then we're gonna work on the inside piece. And for that, we're gonna to need to drop our hook size. So I need, you need a 6.5 millimeter to work the inner part of the ear. And I'm gonna switch over to Bernat Softy Chunky. You could use two strands of worsted weight, but the, the pattern is mainly made for Bernat Softy Chunky, so I'm gonna use it. I didn't have any white, which is what my daughter wanted. So that's why I, whoops, I substituted the two strands. And that's what you can do. If you don't have the color or you can't get the color you want, you can always substitute. Sometimes when you pull from the center of the ball, you get a bit of a mess, but I prefer to work that way. So now for the inner ear, we're gonna start off here with a slip knot. We're gonna chain three a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the next chain. So we now have two stitches. Chain one and turn. Work two single crochet in the first and one in the next. So we have a total of three stitches chain one and turn. Row three, work two single crochet in the first, work one in each of the next two. So now we have four stitches, chain one and turn. Work two in the first, one in each stitch across. We now have five, one, two, three, four, five, chain one and turn, two, again in the first, and then one in each stitch across. And now we have six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one and turn, and now we'll just work one 
in each of the next six. Chain one and turn, and now we're gonna do um, our decreases. So we're gonna do a single crochet tog across the first two. One in the next two, and then a tog across the last two. So we're reducing now to four stitches, chain one and turn, whoops. Chain one and turn. So row eight, one single crochet in each stitch across. And then we're gonna do work around again our edging. We'll add one extra stitch. And again, I like to count just how many stitches I work up the side. It's really not a big deal how many you do. You just, however many you do on this side, you wanna do on this side. So that last one counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and then up in the tip here, we're going to do three. One, two, three. And I like to crochet over this tail here as we go. One, two, three. Seven. So we have equal on each side and then we'll just slip stitch to join and fasten off. We also want a long tail because we're going to sew this now to the outer ear piece. And we need to make two of these. Obviously we have two ears so you need to make two, two backing and two inner ear pieces. Okay. So you can see that fits in there nicely. Let's take a look at our, one of our other ears here. It's dark, but you can see that I sew, I don't sew through the actual stitch, I sew underneath. And then it just gives it like a really nice, see the really nice edge? of the ear. So if you look here, so here's your stitch, your nice clean edge, and then right under the stitch you see another loop. Well I am going to use that loop to be the loop that I go through. This maybe is not the best yarn needle. might have to grab another one but this is all you're doing all the way around is you want to get this seamed that's not going through there well so I have my nice clean edge here I have my nice clean edge here so the wrong side is getting sewn to the right side the wrong side of the inner piece is getting sewn to the right side of the outer piece so that we can see these nice edges. I'm going to change up my yarn needle. Then when we get here, we're doing the same thing. You can see that there's a loop there. So we're going to go in that instead of the loop of the stitch. And you're gonna just do that all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna keep sewing 
my ear. And when I get all the way around, I'm gonna show you what we do is we have to sew up the bottoms to give us that shape. So I'm gonna continue with that. So what I like to do just with the contrast color is just start sewing this piece, just getting that pinched in together down here. Then you can just weave your tail And then we're gonna use this tail to finish sewing together the ear. And it makes a really nice base for it sitting on the top of the hood. Let's go for, through that first one twice. We're just sewing the bottom of the ear together. Okay. So then when you sew, I haven't all my ends I haven't woven in yet just because I like to make sure I'm happy before I do that part. So as you can see, I sew around the ear. So when you're wearing it and that hood is pushed out, it's going to hold that ear up really good. So you've got a nice base to sit on top of the hood. So I can weave that a little bit but you're gonna to want to still have that tail to sew this to the hood. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna work up, get my other ear worked up and then I'm gonna show you how to work the front nose piece, the muzzle of the... Okay, so now we're gonna work on the face piece. So I'm using my nine millimeter hook to make a slip knot. And we're starting out with that main color and I'll chain 11. And then in the second chain from the hook, one, two, we'll work across single crochet stitches. So work all the way across the chain and you should have 10 stitches when you're complete. Chain one and turn and we'll just work one in every stitch across for this row. So we have a total of 10. Chain one and turn and row three, we're gonna do a decrease. So we'll do a single crochet two tog across the first two. We'll work across to the last two stitches And then we'll do another tog. So yarn over, pull up a loop, go through this next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. Chain one turn and work one single crochet in every stitch across. So we've reduced eight stitches. chain one and turn and we're going to reduce now 
to six stitches. So we'll do a single crochet, two tog across the first two, across until the final two stitches. And then we'll do another decrease. Okay, so now we've reduced to six stitches. So now we're gonna do a few rows just at six stitches. And this is the narrow part of the face piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and work up three rows at six stitches. There's my first and I'll do two more. And now for the adult, I'm going to do one additional row just to get us a little bit farther down. So if you're working on the child, you would stop there. But for the adult, I think I'm going to do one more row just to make sure we can cover the length of that hood well. Now we'll chain one and turn and we're going to increase so that we're up to eight. So two in the first, we'll work all the way across and then we'll add two in the final stitch. Now I'm not going to yarn over to finish that because I want to change my color now to clay, my contrast color. Okay, so I'll change to clay and pull that through. Chain one. And then I'm gonna work a single crochet in every stitch across. just crocheting over those tails as I go just to save on a little bit of weaving chain one and turn I'm gonna work a single crochet in every stitch across one and turn and I'm going to do an increase so we're increasing up to 10 stitches so two in the first stitch and then one in every stitch across Chain one and turn, and now we'll work a single crochet in every stitch across. Chain one and turn. And I kind of want to give the note, the muzzle here, a little bit of a round on the bottom. So now I'm going to decrease. So I'm going to decrease across. And decrease the final two. So it's looking like this. 
Now we want to finish the edge, but when we finish the edge, we need to do white on white and clay on clay. So what I'm going to do is because we're ending here sort of in the middle section, I'm going to fasten off. So we're going to come down here to the white section. You'll have less ends to weave if you don't fasten that weight off. Either way, it's fine. Maybe I'll just crochet over them as I go. So chain one, and we're gonna work single crochets. And what you wanna do, same as how we did the ear, just count so that you do the same on each side. There's one, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll add another one here up in that corner and then work across. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is nine, but now we don't want to yarn over. I'm going to leave a long tail here for sewing this piece to the hood. And we want to yarn over with the clay to now finish this section. Tighten up those tails. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll do two for the corner. So five and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We gotta get this corner. One, two, three, four, five, but now we need to join let me see here. I want to make sure this ends nice. Five and then we'll just slip stitch here to join. And that looks fine. And I'm gonna fasten off with a long tail here as well because I'll use that tail for sewing on the hood. And then all of the extra tails, other than the long ones that we're gonna use for sewing, we just wanna weave them. I'm gonna make sure that we clean all of that up. Next. Okay, so I have my face, my muzzle, my ear is done and I use buttons for the hood and now this is something you can do just if you want to have fun. Um, 
I picked up some fake lashes just from the dollar store. And if you want your horse to have some fun lashes, I didn't put lashes on this guy here. I just used some worsted yarn to sew the button on. And the star or the diamond on the forehead is optional. So you don't have to, I'm not gonna go through that on the video. That will be in the pattern if you desire to make that. I think this one, I'm probably not gonna add it. Now what we're gonna do when we sew it is we wanna give this some shape. So what I'm gonna do is also get some stuffing that we can stuff it. And I would use some crazy glue to attach the lashes to the buttons. But again, this is just a fun extra little bit you can add if you want your horse to kind of have some lashes added. So next, what you want to do is get your hood. When you're sewing on, you want to make sure that you don't go through this stitch because we're going to need to work through that when we attach the hood to the blanket. So that's important. So what I suggest doing is sort of shaping it. You can use some fill to give it a little bit more shape that you can mold. And you may want to leave that to the end just to sort of add it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sewing the white section. I just like him to have that three-dimensional look. So that's why when I sew him, sew the face to the hood, I want to make sure that I'm holding it so that I'm getting the three-dimensional shape that I want. I'm just gonna go through the one side of the stitch. What I always like to do is not weave in any ends until I'm sure, and that's even on the child that I'm not quite finished. I haven't finished off with any of those ends because just in case I need to move, if you sew it on, that you don't get it on even. And once you get the majority of this sewn, you can always add this you can then add the stuffing in just for it to help hold its shape. You want that the top just sits nice like this along the hood and then just keep sewing all of the white section. Okay, so I'm working my way and sort of as I've gotten this section, I've pushed my stuffing up to give it its shape. And that's what you can kind of just do as you go. Just sort of push the stuffing to it's just that real nice dimension that we're going for. I'm almost finished up here with the white. And I just want to kind of look at it, make sure that, just want to make sure you've sewn it on even because it's amazing how you can get off track on that. Okay. So I finished up with the white. Now I'm not, I'm not going to weave it in yet, just in case I need to make any changes. If you want to get any stuffing, more stuffing shoved up in there, you want to do that. And then we're going to work with change to the next color.
I want to get my needle so that it's in there like that. Get the shape sort of how I want this to look. I'm gonna grab some more stuffing. Okay, so I finished going all the way around. Still, like when you're ready, weave these ends in. Right now, I'm just, I'm just not prepared to do that yet, just in case when I try it on, if it's like, oh, this is off-centered. I just wanna leave that for now. So you can start kind of seeing like, oh, if you wanna add the eyes in here we need to get the ears the ears I like to put right on either side of the top piece so it's a good marker to kind of just have them sitting and then the hair can come down now if you find it easier you can I've just used one of my pumpkins to sit the hood on if you want to sit it on something that can maybe help when you're sewing on the ears, it's up to you. But that can just help hold it all in place. So I'm gonna start kind of going into the, from the corner into my corner here. Then what I'm doing is I'm just working, I'm gonna work my way around the ear. Sewing to the hood, going up through the ear. And I find it is really secure. It does really work well sewing it this way and with the thickness of the ear and that good base that we made. Whoops. See, this is why you need a long tail. Because I'm running a little short. Okay, so see that's standing up. It's like really secure. I'm just gonna leave that like that for now before I weave in the ends, just in case I need to make any changes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go to the corner and the corner and then just work around. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is attach my hood to my blanket. So what I've done is I, I laid the hood out as close to the center as possible. And then I counted, remember how we did the edging with our chain two spaces? I counted over 15 on each side, and then I added a marker. So I have my hood evenly spaced. So I have my marker over here. I've counted over 15 of the chain two spaces. So what I'm gonna do is just sew my hood across from this chain two space all the way over to the other one. So this is the right side of the blanket, the right, the back of the hood right here, and then we're just gonna seam it right across. I'm gonna take my marker out of this chain two space And that is where I'm gonna begin sewing. You 
you just want to take the hood and the blanket edge and we're just going to whip stitch that right across. And if you want to make sure you're sewing it even, you can even just put your marker through. Right through here on this side. So you're sure you sew that right across even. So I'm going to finish that off camera and then I'll meet you back up for the edging. Okay, so now to finish off the edging, you can... Go to the corner or wherever it is you want. I'm just going to join right in here into one of my chain two spaces. I'm going to work two single crochet into every chain two space. And then a single crochet in the single crochet. So two single crochet in the chain two space and a single crochet. And this is how I'm gonna work the final round of edging. And this is gonna bring you right across here to the hood. When you get to the hood, you just continue, so work your two single crochet and then just start working all across the edge of the hood and continue all the way around. And when you get to the corner, the chain two of your corner, you're gonna do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. The same as we did initially. And that gives us a nice finished edge. Okay, so the hoops are really easy to make. I'm gonna use the clay. And I'm using my nine millimeter hook. We're gonna begin with a magic circle. So I put the yarn over my index finger three times. I then take my hook, pushing it through all three. Pull that through, chain one, and I'm gonna work 10 single crochet in the ring. pulling the tail that's going to pull one of the loops in take the loop that started to pull and pull it that's going to pull the other loop and then just pull your tail and I have a nice tight circle I'm going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join now we're going to do an increase round so we'll chain one work two single crochet in every stitch around so we're going from 10 stitches to 20 stitches. So just work two in every stitch. Okay, so now I have 20 stitches. I'm gonna slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. Chain one. And then now here and throughout, we're just working one single crochet into every stitch. And I'm going to do at least 14 rounds in total for the adult. You could even go bigger if you want. Okay, so I finished working 
my 14 rounds. I think this is a good size for an adult. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, make sure that you have your tail to the side and then we can just leave that there for sewing this to the blanket. But what I want you to do is take your yarn needle and take the tail that's on the inside All you're gonna do is we just wanna make this look like a hoof. So I'm gonna push that needle through to just use the yarn that we already have there. like this. And then we can just weave this in. I have a little bit of yarn left, not a whole lot, but enough to do the ears, the muzzle, and enough to do our mittens, the hoofs, the hooves. Okay, so here it just shows you where I've sewn the hooves to the blanket. So just to the top few rows here, I just put this part here facing the right side of the blanket then just seam that on so that it's open so that your child can put their hands in. I also just attached one of my custom tags. So for the horse mane and tail, I cut strands of yarn 24 inches. Maybe for the adult, you could do 26 inches in length. So that's for the longer bits of the hair and the tail. And I did some shorter pieces in the front as well. And I did, I did them only 12 inches in length. I'm just gonna show you how I attached them. So I started working across the front. So just put your hook through the stitch. You just wanna pull it through and knot and you can see that that the knot goes to this side and makes it look nice so the hair can kind of go across the front or to the back or even hang down over his face but I just added longer strands so I did sort of his bangs in the shorter and then I started working longer pieces and I just did a section so let's just take a look at the back. So I just work sections of about three, three to four, about four. Really, you can just sort of do this how you want, but about four across, just working down the back of the hood. So I went all the way down the back of the hood, these long strands of yarn to make his mane. And then in the front, I didn't do too many short, about two rows of short pieces, and then the rest are long. And then what I did for the tail, you can really put as many as you want. I just found the center of the back of the blanket, and then I also just started attaching pieces in kind of a circular. And then I just actually wrapped one piece just around just to kind of hold them in place. So that's it for the tail. Just find the center of the blanket to attach the tail bits and work 
a bunch of hair and I used probably about a ball, maybe not quite a ball of yarn, but I figured on a ball of yarn to put as much hair as I wanted to add to his mane and his tail. 